students, who they would love to see their favorite dog in a book. And I would love to put their favorite dog in my book. So I collect all these pictures from people all over the world. And they send me the pictures. I process them and whatnot because I have my own publishing house. And then I put them in the book. Well, once the Samoyed book came out, and I immediately sold it to everybody who knits in Samoyeds here and abroad, they said, OK, you've done Samoyeds. What's next? <laughs> well, I figured what's next happens to be the most popular breed at the time, which was the Labrador Retriever. It still is. I yeah, it's better. Better. Oh, are they back yeah, up again? Yeah, yeah, they want to bump yes, the yes, Yorkie yes, yeah. again? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the labs were averaging 150,000 puppies a year. And so I went, had no trouble finding people with labs to get pictures of their dogs. <laughs> and I even found the top lab ever in the history of the breed. And the top lab breeder, his name is Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> and Fitzy and not. And Buzz Lightyear's owner lived on Cape Cod. So she was showing out here in the shows and whatnot. And I was talking about looking for special labs. And she said, well, I could write to you about Buzz, because Buzz had beaten every lab ever. And so she wrote this wonderful story of Buzz Lightyear and sent me pictures of him winning and his baby pictures. So there he is at four weeks of age. So the nice thing about making connections is when I'm working on these books, I'm making friends with all of the people who send me pictures. Now, on the last book, and again on the golden book here, I have never met a woman, but she was a professional field trial photographer. And she would take tons and tons of pictures of the dogs in action. You know, jumping into the water, catch them midair when they're going after the bird. Now, people with Samoyeds don't know anything about bird dogs. But she knew everything about bird dogs. And so she worked out a, a sweater deal. <laughs> so I knit for her, and she supplied me with probably some of the most beautiful pictures. And I'll let you look at them later, but you know, like, oh, you know, we're talking cute, cuddly, as well as dogs in action. So you've got your lab doing his lab thing, complete with pheasant in mouth. Well, of course, if you do the lab, you've got to do the goals. And so they go as a lockstep. Lab people and golden people, if you do something for one, you have to do it for the other. And so the next book was the golden book. And I did the same thing. Word of mouth, everybody read it. Actually, the woman who did um, the pictures for the lab book said, I can do pictures for your golden books because there's as many golden book people out here, you know, doing hunting with their dogs. So we worked a double deal. Well, okay, I have those three books, and I'm just saying, oh, thank God, I've gotten, you know, I've been at this a year and a half, and I've published three books.